Okay, you guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I had to come into my craft slash sewing room to do some work. As you guys can see, I have some of it hanging up in the closet. I had to do make some shirts. Um, I have some still on the press. I'm still in the middle of making, I have some orders that I gotta fulfill. This is my craft section-ish. I had to get in here and do some work. I got some orders. Here's a little bit of the wall, some of my vinyl, more of my vinyl. A lot of my stuff are still in these storage bins because I haven't gotten the, you know, cubby hole thingies and whatnot um, for it to, uh, you know, all of it to go in it, into its proper place. <laughs> So, um, yeah, but I'm making this video because I'm about to put this flooring down. You guys, I'm about to put this down and you guys are gonna see me unbox it. And this is only about 40 or 50, 48 or 50 square feet, I believe, which this section of my room is gonna have it mainly. If I need more, I'll get it. This section is gonna be mainly for my computer and the filming area and whatnot, but hold on baby. The reason why I'm putting the flooring down because I'll be sewing in this area as well. And then if you're a sewer, you know, you deal with all kinds of strings from the thread and whatnot. And that being on the carpet is a headache. It's just easier to clean up and sweep. I said, let me put something down over the carpet so I can have an easy cleanup and so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, you guys, like I said, this is my little craft area. I had to get in and do some work um, last week. Today is Monday, I'm starting off fresh. But before I do, let me go ahead and put this morning down, you guys. I'll see you in a second. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. I am again introducing myself. I already know I did an intro, but I'm going to be putting some flooring down on to my floor. And I saw this from someone on YouTube because I didn't want to pay a whole bunch of money um, going to anywhere, putting anything down on this floor. I'm obviously renting. I would have made sure that I had these floors ripped up, switched off to something vinyl or um, some type of wood type floor because when you're sewing, as I said before, it can be messy. Messy in the sense of thread, uh, scraps of scraps of fabric and all sorts of other things. So the best thing for me to do is to put down something on the floor that's temporary. Now, this is not open, but I already opened up one. And I want to show you guys what it looks like. It's 24 by 24. And as you guys can see right here on the edges, it's it um, it's like a um, edge seal off portion where if you don't use it on your whole entire floor, yeah, at least it can look seamless for when you have it down on a partial floor, which I may end up doing in here. I'm not 100% sure, but we shall see. I may, I may just do a partial at first and then do whole, but um, the whole entire room. But as of right now, I'm definitely doing this side of the room, probably from this wall to this wall to about maybe around here. And if I don't have enough, I will definitely get more. But um, let me go ahead and get started. I'm going to vacuum this floor and move, just move stuff out the way. I'm not taking everything out the room because <laughs> um, most of my stuff is here. Most of it, not all of it. <laughs> most of my stuff, my supplies is here in the room. So I'm just gonna move stuff around and um, adjust and put these down and just continue on. You're trying to tear the thing apart? I haven't even used it yet and you're trying to tear it apart. Sarah, come on now. Um, <laughs> let me go ahead and put these down. I'll see you guys in just a bit.
like literally, if you want it, all the grains to go a certain way, this is kind of like uh, a puzzle. So the end pieces have to fit a certain way in order for the grain to go the same way. So it's a little bit of a, a puzzle, especially when it comes to these end pieces because they don't fit um, all the, they all don't fit the same way. So just a heads up on that. If you think they don't fit, they do. You just have to really, you just have to rearrange it. Um, you just have to rearrange it in order for them to fit when going in the same direction. Now, if you don't care that it goes in the same direction or not, then, you know, that's totally up to you but I want mine all going in the same direction. So just a heads up, if you want the wood grain pattern to go in the same direction, you are gonna have to do a little bit of taking these apart and putting them on differently because of the way that the pattern is. like that foam stuff you put on your children for, but it'd be, you know, letters and stuff. Or it'd be like hot scotch. <laughs> That's what this is for grown-ups, you know. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I just wanted you guys to see how it looks up close. Um, like I said, it looks like the stuff that you would use literally for a child's room. They have the padding you can put down on the floor. This is the back side. This is the back side, and this is the front. And here are the pieces that you take off on the, on the edge. And it looks really really good it looks like real wood it's just the print which either way for me this is like when you're looking at it um, from afar you can't really tell that it has this on it I mean unless you're just looking super duper hard and looking very very close but you know for the most part you know this part is not the same way as these I'm gonna fix that but anyway um, I just wanted to come in and show you guys real quick how it looks up close so so far that's what I have so far let me finish. All right, you guys. So I am done 48 feet. And you will have some of these left over more than this because they belong on the edges um, for the border um, pieces. 
but this is it. This is approximately 48 square feet. I used all 24 pieces because there was 12 pieces in each pack. All together about 60, I got about 60 square feet to work as far as my space is concerned and I love it. Hold on, let me get out the door a little bit so you guys can see. That's a little bit of the carpet. And then of course my stuff <laughs> that I am going to be putting up very, very soon. But it goes all the way underneath the table. See that piece right there. I didn't feel like fumbling with it because as you guys saw, I had to use my body to push it up. So I just said, you know what, that's fine. It's underneath the table, it's not gonna bother me. Um, but it goes all the way underneath the table all the way to almost the edge of the closet. Just a couple inches off, maybe not not even, a, probably about an inch off, all the way to the edge, all the way around, and it's seamless because you use these borders to make everything nice and neat. And that's about it, you guys. Okay, you guys, so that's the end of this video. <laughs> Um, I hope you guys liked it. I hope it showed you something that you didn't know. Okay, you guys, this is my third time trying to do this. <laughs> my sister keep calling me. So I am done. I am done, you guys. Um, hopefully this showed you guys some other alternatives other than uh, taking up your whole entire floor um, in regards to um, different flooring in your house. I hope that this helped with that, whether it's in your living room or a bedroom. As me, my bedroom, um, a spare bedroom that we had, um, I turned it into my craft room. And so the floor looks amazing. I love it. I love how it feels. My little one in here. You like the floor? Huh? Yes, no? Okay. <laughs> Um, I'm definitely, um, I'm definitely happy about it. <laughs> um, $50 well spent. Um, so I, I spent, um, pretty much a little bit less than a dollar per square, 24 by 24, I think it was. But that's the end of the video, you guys. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe, like, share, share in some craft rooms, groups, uh, share in some uh, a room uh, or share on Facebook or somewhere where you know this would be um, profitable for someone to use as an alternative than, than to ripping up your carpet, um, whether you're renting, buying, it doesn't matter. This is, this is a temporary uh, setup as far as the floor is concerned and it's going to do me a um so good when it comes to cleaning especially when i start sewing <laughs> i'm sewing in the living room right now but i'm sewing in the living room right now but that's okay i'm going to be in my room very very soon just waiting for a few more things to come in and um i'll be giving you guys a full tour of everything i have as soon as everything is where it's supposed to be <laughs> All right, so guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.